We got a lot of Philly in the house. Philly? Awesome. New Jersey? That, that's okay. Uh, various suburbs that no one cares about? House. Never rules. I am I'm a Philly guy, born and raised in Philadelphia. Uh, people don't believe that about me for whatever reason. They're like, if you're from Philly, how come you don't talk like an Italian caveman? And I will, give me a couple beers, I'm good. You know? Like, if you're from Philly, where's your Eagles jersey or your Phillies cap or your DUI? And I don't, I don't bring them everywhere I go. You know? He said, no, I'm from Philly. My move, in the bedroom, before I eat a lady's butt. <laughs> I always had to yell. Back door! That's the move. <laughs> if, you're, if you're not laughing, I'm clapping. Because you don't take SEPTA, right? <laughs> and if you take SEPTA, you, you'll definitely eat a butt, right? Because that's not the most unsanitary thing you've done today. <laughs> I got to travel for comedy, I was in Minneapolis, and somebody's like, no shit, you're from Philly? Do you know my friend? <laughs> I, I did not. <laughs> Neither friend. But crazy odds, crazy odds, a week later, their friend was on the news because they'd been murdered. Right? What are the odds of that? That's crazy. What, they, what a big small town, right? That's a, I love it, but I also love it like like a marriage, you know? It's like nobody say shit about my town, I love this town. Also, I gotta get out, I gotta go. <laughs> this is not sustainable, this is dying inside. <laughs> Might need you to die again. Like, All right, uh, hell yeah. You guys a Wawa yeah. crowd? You like Wawa? <laughs> I worked for Wawa for years, so I got a lot to tell you about it. Uh, Makes sense, you're right over here, like, that's a Wawa guy. <laughs> Both me and Wawa, your only option at 3 a.m., right? That's how that goes. I actually went to school to be a teacher, and then I was like, you know what, I'll be Wawa instead. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if I'm ready to be a teacher, but I'd still like to be bullied by teenagers. <laughs> it is good, but I don't care. I don't care a long time, like, crazy stories. I have a coworker who got stabbed twice. That's pretty crazy. Actually, the craziest part of that story is that that's not why he quit. So, <laughs> what's that saying? Stab me once. Show me you guys know that one? Yeah. stabbed twice. So he got stabbed once, and then Wawa's solution was to move him to a new store. That was the day they basically solved it the same way the church solves the priest thing. <laughs> yeah, when we were here, it never happened. Stabbed again. This person loves that that guy got stabbed. It's a squeal. Did you just get stabbed? What was that? It's nuts. Oh yeah. I am uh, I'm a short guy. I'm 5'5". Five five. Can we talk about it? Very frustrating height to be, you know? Six inches away, six inches away from being a little person. Six inches away from being a real man. Very frustrating. Very disheartening. You know, it's unfair when like women are short, it's like endearing, you know? They get to say cool things like, I'm fun sized. Or good at things come in small packages. I can't say any of those things. <laughs> if I say good things come in small packages, <laughs> you're thinking about my dick, right? That's what you're thinking about. It's my dick. Yeah, it's not great. I recently realized that I am too short to get roadhead. Sit too close to the wheel. It's not, not enough room. I don't get to use the phrase not enough room around my dick often. Roadhead's the thing. I remember I was on Tinder and this woman in her bio said, Don't bother if you're the height of a fifth grader. And then I had to do a Google search. Pretty sure I'm on a list for that one now. Average height. I am taller than a fifth, a fifth grade boy. The girls grow fast, but I'm taller than a fifth grade boy. So heads up, lady. Doing okay. Oh yeah. 
I used to date a woman, she was 5'10". That was cool, that was fun. Her friends made a lot of jokes, you know? One of the jokes was that my friends nicknamed her Phone Books, implying that I had to stand on a phone book to kiss her. I was like, guys, that's ridiculous, we're millennials, okay? We don't use phone books. I bought a squatty potty for that. So, I kissed my tall, my giant girlfriend. <laughs> the sex, the sex was a little awkward. A lot of legs, a lot more legs than you used to work with. Yeah. Everyone always says, hey, everybody's the same size laying down. And that's what people who haven't had sex with giants say. Yeah. <laughs> Probably I was trying to close an uncooperative sofa bed, you know? I was trying to, like, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I've done a lot of dating. I'm in my mid 30s. I'm the single friend. I've been the single friend for a really long time. Oh my, that's fine. Yeah, you're cool. Thanks. Uh, one of my married buddies was like, dude, I'm kind of jealous that you're like saying, you know, you just get to have sex with whoever you want. And uh, just a heads up, that's never a thing. That's not a thing. You need their permission. That's like the main thing. Hopefully that guy stays tattooed to someone for real. So sorry that lady, right? Yeah, single friend. For so, so long. Did a lot of dating. I remember being on Tinder. This is another Tinder bio that's crazy. This woman in her bio said, Don't bother if you're one of those sheeple who wears a mask. And this was before COVID. So it's not just now. That'd be weird. But yeah, and I was like, Man, this lady is definitely having unprotected sex with me, right? That's her name. <laughs> about COVID, we're gonna, we're gonna spread something, right? That's what happened. You learn your red flags the longer you date. I was on a date with this woman, and she told me that she thinks that watching porn is cheating. Don't agree. <laughs> I was like, lady, I've already cheated on you on this date. So, <laughs> that's why it took so long in the past. <laughs> This Applebee's actually does not have a men's room attendant. <laughs> yeah, she feels this strongly about porn, she is definitely not gonna like wanna fuck other people, right? She's not gonna like that at all. You get bad support. I uh, once went home with this woman we were like fooling around and she put a brace on things. And she said, actually John, I uh I don't I don't want to sleep with you tonight. I was like, oh that's totally cool, we know we stopped. I'm just like a great guy. And <laughs> Feminist ally, John Deere. Uh, <laughs> then we put the brakes on, they can stop. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm just like not comfortable being the kind of girl who sleeps with two guys on back to back nights. And I was like, Yeah, you didn't have to say any of that. <laughs> we, were good. we were set. <laughs> so she's like, Yeah, I'm sorry, I just have this date tomorrow night. And seems like a really great guy. Cool. You're good. I love uh, sex on the first date. You guys fuck with sex on the first date? Woo! Hell yeah. Well, a lot of nerds not clapping, and that's okay. <laughs> a lot of people that can't get it in, that's, you know, whatever. Go at your own pace. You know, have sex after you get married after six months. You know, that's the other option. The two options. Yeah, I used to love sex on the first date. Uh, I was on a date with this woman. She invited me back to her place. Can't want to be very aggressive there. She said, hey, just let you know. I like rough. I was like, all right, I think I can handle that. And we're pulling around as things get heated up. She's like, okay, now I need you to punch me in the face. <laughs> it actually turns out I do not like it rough. <laughs> so sorry, I misled you. I am definitely not a punch you in the face on the first date kind of guy. You know, that's more of a punchline. Yeah, I so I did not punch that lady in the face. Uh, she told me that that made me a little bitch. <laughs> I was like, honestly, if I was punching you, you'd be saying the same thing. <laughs> no way, I'm going to punch you very good. So I didn't punch that lady in the face. The next morning we get up, and she's like, you know, we, we could do this again. We have to step your game up. And I was like, holy shit. Obviously, you are great for material. So yes, let's do that. <laughs> we went out again, and on the second date, she told me that she had voted for Trump. I was like, y'all gonna punch the shit out of me.
got a round of applause for punching some lady. You guys are amazing. You guys ready for the first meeting?